This is the Guadalupe Mountains National Park and Texas Travel Guide. At Guadalupe Mountains National Park, you'll find mountains and canyons, desert and dunes, night skies, and endless vistas. The Guadalupe Mountains is home to the world's extensive Permian Fossil Reef, the four highest peaks in Texas, an environmentally diverse collection of flora and fauna, and embedded in this land is the history of the people who lived and pioneered this land. This Guadalupe Mountains National Park Travel Guide provides helpful information for visitors to this national park. Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to Hip Big. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Beautiful America Travel Guide series. This episode is the Guadalupe Mountains National Park in Texas Helpful Travel Guide for Visitors. There are five major areas that you can visit when you're at the Guadalupe National Park. The first is the Pine Springs Visitor Center and Pine Springs Campground. Uh, the second is the McKittrick Canyon Contact Station. The third is the Frijole Ranch. Fourth is Williams Ranch. And the fifth is the Salt Basin Dunes uh, Day Use Area, as well as several trailheads. We drove to Guadalupe Mountains National Park from the city of El Paso, Texas. El Paso is about a two hour drive to this national park. We drove about 110 miles east from El Paso on a hot, uh, sunny summer morning on US Highway 62. On the way to the visitor center, we passed the Salt Basin Dunes area, which covers nearly 2,000 acres in this national park. If you wish, you can drive through to the White Jimson Sand Dunes, which has views of El Capitan and the western side of the Guadalupe Mountains. The drive will take about two to four hours. By the way, please do not visit this area when it's raining. Brown signs are clearly posted in English on the road. For your information, there is no gasoline available in this national park. Uh, if you're traveling from El Paso, Texas, Dell City is the closest town. And if you're tra uh, traveling from New Mexico, White City is the last place that offers gas. The address for the Guadalupe Mountains National Park Visitor Center is 400 Pine Canyon, Salt Flat, Texas. We stopped at the Pine Springs area first. Pine Springs Visitor Center is the park's main visitor center and headquarters. It's open 8 to 4.30 p.m. daily except on Christmas Day. There is a national park fee of $10 per person for those 16 years of age and older. It's good for seven days and there is an additional $15 fee per campsite. You can also self-pay at any park trailhead or in the visitor center. There is no charge for coming into one of the visitor centers. Passes must be clearly displayed on the vehicle dashboards to cover all entrance fees. All passes allow free entrance for the pass holder and three visitors 16 years and older. We had an annual national park pass which we displayed on our dashboard while parked in this national park. The nearby campground, trailheads, and parking areas are open and accessible 24 by 7 during normal operations. Camping, remember, is permitted in designated campsites only. In this Guadalupe Mountains Visitor Center, you can pay entrance and camping fees, tour the small museum, purchase items from the park store, pick up brochures and maps, and obtain overnight wilderness use uh, permits. One of the most popular activities in the Guadalupe Mountains National Park is hiking. There are over 80 miles of trails ranging in difficulty. Many of these trails lead to Guadalupe Peak, around the base of El Capitan, up into the high country, and into McKittrick Canyon. Be sure to talk to one of the knowledgeable rangers about the many trails available in the Guadalupe Mountains. For your information, restrooms are located outside of the visitor center. After the visitor center, we took a walk on the Pinery Trail. The Pinery Trail is an easy, leisurely 20 minute walk on a paved trail with the backdrop of the Guadalupe Peak. The Pinery Trail is wheelchair accessible. You can see Guadalupe Peak from the trail. 
Guadalupe Bay Peak, also known as Signal Peak, is the highest natural point in Texas with an elevation of 8,751 feet above sea level. On the Pioneer Trail, you'll see signage identifying common local plants as well as human history around this area. For avid hikers who want to challenge a trail in this area, they include the Devil's Hall uh, Trail, which departs from Pine Springs Trailhead, which is 3.8 miles round trip and leads to an impressive natural rock staircase leading to a hallway formed by steep canyon walls. Another trail is the Hunter Peak Trail, which is a challenging all-day hike that loops up Bear Canyon Trail and down the Tejas Trail. The most challenging and most popular trail amongst hikers in this national park is the Guadalupe Peak Trail. You will literally climb to the top of Texas. This is a strenuous 8.5 mile round trip hike with 3,000 feet of elevation gain. When we arrived, there weren't very many people um, on the trail, and so it was really solitary. And from time to time, we can look up to the peaks, watching birds glide through the uh, clear skies and feel the occasional warm breeze. We walked around this easy Pioneer Trail at 10 a.m., and it was already hot. The short distance was just the perfect warm up in this heat. By the way, if you have a high clearance four-wheel drive uh, vehicle, then you can get to Williams Ranch. The historic Williams Ranch sits at the base of Guadalupe Mountains. This primitive road to the ranch follows the route of the 1858 Butterfield Overland Mail Stage Line. Please ask the rangers about details. This trail is really not a loop. You will have to walk back the way you came. The trail leads to the ruins of the old Butterfield Stagecoach route in Pioneer Station built in 1858. After we reached the old Butterfield Stagecoach route, Pioneer Station, we went ahead and went walked back to the visitor center. Once at the visitor center, we walked back to our car and drove east on Highway 62. The next area you can visit after the visitor center is the Frijole Ranch. Take the Frijole Ranch Road to access the Frijole Horse Campsite, the Frijole Ranch History Museum, and the associated trailheads. A picnic area is located at the end of the road. Camping is permitted in designated campsites only, and the other areas are day use only, which is open sunrise to sunset. There are three trails you can visit, the Smith Spring Trail, the Manzanita Spring, and the Frijole Foothills Trail. The Manzanita Spring is only 0.2 miles. Once back on the road, we saw the sign to McKittrick Canyon, where we made a left. This day use area is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. April through October, and 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. November through March. Please exit McKittrick Canyon before the posted closing time. The entrance gates on U.S. Highway 62-180 is locked each evening. The McKittrick Canyon contact station is staffed during spring and fall and is open from 8 to 4.30. There are several trails here to hike. The challenging hikes include the Notch, Permian Reef, the Grotto and Hunter Line Shack, and Pratt Cabin. The easiest trail here is the McKittrick Canyon Nature Trail, which took us about an hour. Dog Canyon lies in the north end of this national park. It has an elevation of 6,300 feet and it has a visitor center, trailhead, and campground. Guadalupe Mountains National Park is worth visiting. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for